All right, so who who is the favourite with Devon and Dennis in November? Um, what we just saw from from Devon was was nothing short of phenomenal. Uh, really, really next level pronated static threat um, that really disabled Ernest. Uh, Devon Devon looked like he was in his best form he's ever been in. Um, we know what we know what level Ernest was at. So this was the best form Devon's potentially ever been, and you could see that he even felt that himself. Um, he made declarations on the stage that he will destroy Dennis. That he's been looking for a match for twenty years, and uh, he's going to destroy him in November. It's interesting. Uh, my, I've been sitting here watching people's comments on the the video I put out a moment ago that just was described as wow. And I'm, I'm sitting there reading through things and I'm starting to think about who will be the favorite for this match. Um, obviously they've never pulled right. They've never pulled right. Dennis's comeback match was against John. He looked comfortable. Uh, when Devon and Dennis faced on the left, um, that was that was Devon's unfavored arm. I think it was. It, it, it wasn't the it wasn't his good arm. Whether he was coming off surgery for about a year before, I can't remember. But either way, it wasn't his preferred arm, and it was Dennis's. It was a very one sided match. I remember um, Dennis looked very relaxed, very calm. Was able to just control Devon's pronator, control everywhere, everything. Devon's pronator has evolved now. Um, he's now the super heavyweight champ of the world and he's done it on the back of specific strength. Um, obviously Devon is very strong fundamentally as well, but if you look at the way Devon's evolved over the last, I don't know, 12 months, what's noticeable is how I always, I described it as a gnarly sort of twisted, like a tree root. He's, he's, um... Is incredibly developed in the pronation sense, and I think it's developed in the sense of it. It's it's like it's it's like it's had so many years arm wrestling that it's it's got a, a natural resilience to it. Um, Devon doesn't have the fundamental strength through his bicep and pecs and shoulders that some of these other guys do. Uh, I mean, Hermes has more of that, and we just saw what happened. Um, when I think of Dennis. I also think of someone who has that tree root twisted style conditioning and longevity put into his hand and wrist. Um, Dennis is ultimately a king's mover as well. As much as Devin doesn't, sorry, as much as Dennis doesn't need to do the king's move against the very vast majority of people, he's a dragging pronator. He'll king's move. He'll, if he if he loses height, he can drag. He's got a flop press that can be quite explosive at times. And he has, a, I would say, a broader hand than Devon. The one thing Devon has in his tool sets is he is a taller man. He has a longer arm, probably a longer hand, maybe not a wider hand. So I would instinctively say Devon will win height. He, the fact that he could win height against Hermes in the setup will suggest to me that he will win height off the go. I think they'll go to straps. I don't think there's any doubt there. I think they'll go to straps. I think that Dennis, with a lower grip, with a broad hand, will drag. Devin will top roll. And there'll be some stop somewhere, and then, and then things start to happen. Devon is very good, as we saw, at transitioning from a top roll to climbing over someone's rotation into an out press position. Um, the years of 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 work that he did as a fundamental shape hooker, and and even he began as a presser, leave him in a position where those strengths can still be called upon. If Dennis is to win, it's it's thanks to his 
massive hand being able to survive well enough against the pronation of, of Devon. Drag Devon open through fatigue. Devon's shoulder becomes vulnerable and oppressed. It was to occur. If Devon is to win, he will simply get through the hand and get over the pronation of Denis Um Yeah, it's On the back of today's performance, you know that the odds are going to be in the favour of, of Devon. Even though Dennis is Dennis. It's a hard one to pick. I can understand and I can feel, based on today's performance, Devon will probably be the favourite. That said... It's now Dennis's turn to provide us with an update. We're obviously not going to get an update in the form of a match, but you can be certain that Dennis Saplankov, after having watched today's match, will take it incredibly seriously. Um, he's a very intelligent puller himself, very long seasoned athlete within the game. Hard match to pick, hey. Ultimately, I think as it is right now, Devon is the favourite. But, <laughs> yeah, November, goodness me, big match. Interestingly, side note, interestingly, Devon's mention of Ungabayev at 105 afterwards. Uh, interesting, strange one to me. I think, of I, I, no doubt... Devon could beat Ongabayev um, at 105, yeah. Um, I'm more interested, I would personally be more interested in Levan's return from injury, return to competition, to be against the winner of Devon and Dennis. I think that, that that's where it's at. Anyway, who's the favourite, Devon or Dennis? Let me know.